This is my Giant Talon 29er hardtail bike. Great bike, even without the conversion kit, but I recently added a, a conversion kit, putting on a 1200 watt rear motor with a 48 volt battery, 17.5 amp hours. Tons of power, tons of distance. Here in Santa Cruz, California, where I live, Northern California coastal town, got tons of hills here. This here in particular is about a 20% grade. I'm doing this in real time using pedal assist and you can see how quickly I'm actually making up this hill. Very short, very steep, very difficult under the best circumstances, but this bike just powered through it. This is a long hill, about a quarter of a mile long, uh, about a, roughly about a 12% grade. Again, tough just because of the distance, and it just keeps going up and up. This is on the way to the University of California. Here I am hitting one of the higher hills, more of the steeper grades. This hill goes on for about uh, just a little under a quarter of a mile. Um, almost impossible to climb unless you're a pro cyclist. Uh, most most cyclists I know are walking their bikes up this hill. This 25% grade. You can see the car ahead of me is probably doing about 30 miles an hour. I'm doing about 16 miles an hour up this and it continues and continues. No stress on the motor. Uh, it just it just powers. And again, the battery, which is a, a 48 volt battery with 17.5 amp hours, really helps move that motor along. This is Highway 1 heading south. Uh, I'm doing about between 38 and 42 miles an hour. Uh, cars on my left are traveling at about 55 miles an hour. And this is just pure throttle. There's no pedal assist. Uh, even though the speed limit's 45, everybody's doing about 55, and I'm doing a little over 40. And it could still go faster than what I was doing. Uh, it was just a little bit on the nerve-wracking side to try and press it farther than that. One of the things to consider when you're looking at e-bikes is the battery. The battery is critical. It's your gasoline. So in my case, I have 840 amp hours, which is 48 times 17.5. And if you divide that 840 by 20, the 20 being you lose basically 20 amp hours per mile, I can basically get 42 miles just using the throttle on that battery. But I'm using pedal assist most of the time, so I'm getting between 60 to 80 miles per ride. Before I bought the conversion kit, I did a lot of research online about e-bikes and uh, conversion kits. And I was looking for a sort of a turnkey bike that would give me what I wanted. And I couldn't find any bike under $10,000 that would give me what I was looking for. I wanted some power and I wanted the ability to go long distance. I've been cycling for a long time and, and you know, I'm usually using pedal assist, but I wanted certain specs. So putting this together, I, I found the parts I was looking for ordered them and honestly it was so much easier than I thought. It probably took about two and a half, maybe three hours to put the whole thing together to my liking. One of the great things about this 1200 watt motor is it gives me tons of power. It's got great pickup. It can go from zero to 25 to 30 in a, in a really quick amount of time and sustain that for a long period of time. Uh, in some of these things you can see me coming right up on the back of other people, skateboarders, cyclists. Just tons of great power with that 1200 watt engine. One of the great features about this, uh, this 1200 watt uh, hub motor is that it comes with an LCD display. I bought this from the e-bike motors out of uh, China. And the LCD display controls all sorts of functions on the bike. And one of the things you can do is put a governor on it. You can control how fast you, your maximum speed is. I've opened it up so that my maximum speed is as fast as I can go. But you can control it if you wanted to limit your speed to, say, 20 miles an hour. You can control that through the LCD display very, very easily. This motor comes with five different pedal assist modes from easy to hard 
And basically pedal assist is that you're pedaling and working with the engine so the engine and the battery aren't working as hard. That's my preferential way of riding. Uh, it gives me a lot more distance and it gives me a lot more exercise and it's a, more of a true feeling of cycling. But you can choose whichever mode you want and you can turn off pedal assist and just simply throttle the bike. Again, living here in Santa Cruz, one of the things that I deal with all the time are hills, lots of hills, from very steep, very long, to very short and very steep. So one of the things I was looking for in putting this kit together was that it could handle these hills and continue to give me the kind of distance that I'm looking for. 